Hello everyone, Jonathan here for another edition of Coffee and Cameras. It's a special afternoon edition because I didn't get up early enough this morning to do this. Uh, so cold brew. Um, this one is a video about a camera that just came out. This is the Jolly Cam, oh sorry, the Jolly Look Toy Instant Camera. Now, I caused a bit of a hubbub on the Facebook group, the Instax, Worldwide Instax Shooters Facebook group, by noting that I got one of these at retail, uh, apparently before any of the backers from Kickstarter did. So, sorry if I caused a bit of a, um, any stress to anybody, um, but I just wanted to let you guys know uh, what some of the issues are that I ran into, so when you guys do get your Kickstarter cameras, you can look out for them as well. Um, first things first, it's a paper camera. <laughs> as was noted when I picked it up at Freestyle, don't take it out in the rain. Um, it has the plastic lens, the manual shutter, and a metal bar across the top of the shutter. When you pull the manual, when you pull the shutter up, that set that cocks the shutter. You can set your um, iris right here on the side. It's got 8 through 45 plus pinhole. Um, so we're going to go ahead and set it. It's got a shutter release button right here and a manual override to lock the shutter open right there. So for pinhole long exposures you can lock it open and hold it on the pinhole. So we'll go ahead and cock it. I think there's a piece of film left in there but basically it co comes up and cocks and then you've got a Fresnel lens here that you can look through. Hey, there I am! And let's see if we can take a picture. I'm just gonna kinda guesstimate 16 with the bar makes it F. Um, leaving this bar in the shutter changes the shutter speed. If you remove it, it slows it down. So, uh, or I'm sorry, it speeds it up with the metal bar in there. According to the instructions, it's at about 1 1 50th. Without the metal bar, it's at 1 2 50th. So you can take those numbers and use an iPhone or a, a smartphone metering app, and you can meter for the um, for the iris. Since we already know that Instax Film is I, uh, rated at 800, so you can kind of figure it out. Or they also include in the box a nifty little um, chart of expected aperture values uh, based on lighting conditions. So let's just guess at 16 and let's say we're probably about a meter from the camera and so now the shutter's set I'm just gonna look through there and that's it so we just made our exposure and then we're gonna wind one two three four five or maybe six it's a little hit or miss um, and that's one of the maybe fun parts or sort of obnoxious parts about this camera is the actual film processor unit. Um, but I'll talk about that here in a minute. So other little quirks with it are the bellows kind of pull the camera closed so they include in it paper straws and the paper straw becomes your bellows strut to hold the camera open. Um, I've noticed mine has been loosening up and it's been getting a little bit better the longer that I use it, the longer that I have it open. So you know, maybe after a while it'll get better. Um, but they come with some paper straws for different lengths. They come with some pretty detailed instructions, which is nice, and like a little, like I said, a little exposure card to help you remember what to set the exposure to. It also comes with some extra um, rubber bands to fix the shutter if you break the rubber band that, that drives the shutter. So, um, about the yeah, so it's starting to come out a little bit, and it's just that easy. As far as the shutter goes, like I said, you pull it up to cock it, and the first version of this that I had, this is actually, I had to return it and get another one, um, the shutter itself was pulling an opening, a curtain opening, as you cocked it, and so it was fogging the film every time. Uh, this new one is noticeably better, like it doesn't fog the film anymore, and you can actually, there's a tactile difference. Um, you can feel that it's working better. Uh, I contacted Jolly Look, my camera shut off, sorry about that. Um, 
I was saying that I did contact Jolly Look about the shutter issue that I was having. They said they were actually going to be creating a video to talk about it, so I guess it's something that they've seen before, um, and they're going to be talking about how to fix it. I haven't heard back from them about when that's going to happen, but once I got the one that works, awesome. Um, other sort of quirks with it are the way that the processor unit works is you wind it, wind it, wind it, and it spits out the image. One of the problems that I've been having is with the black card, the lightweight um, light baffle material has been getting stuck on the adhesive that's actually holding the cloth light baffling onto the processor. Um, so uh, here's me trying to get it out of the camera using some tweezers. Um, it's a bit of a challenge, um, but be aware that sometimes the adhesive in here can kind of get gummed up. It only happens on the black card as far as I can tell. It hasn't happened on any of the photos. Um, but the catch with the photos are if you wind too far it'll start spitting out the next photo before you've actually used it and that um, ends up leaving you with something like a black line across the bottom or in some cases a white line across the top and a black line across the bottom a little bit. Um, so there's a little, it's a little finicky about uh, making sure that you pull the photo out at the right time and stop winding. Um, like you can see right here I've got it halfway wound and I'm afraid to push it back because I don't know what will happen if I go backwards. I don't think I want to. And if I go forwards it'll start spitting out the next photo immediately. Um, so it's a little finicky like that. But um, other than that it's it's a pretty cool little camera. Um, I've been getting some pretty decent results out of it once you kind of get used to how it all works. Um, I think that they're not bad. The stuff that I think is most impressive, I mean, it's got a nice soft quality. It's sort of similar to some of the lo lower end um, Lomo stuff. But what I'd say is really impressive, and it'll focus, camera will focus on this because it's my face. Look, it's me. Um, is this is an awesome selfie cam. Like, you set this thing to the closest distance, hold it out at arm's length, and I was able to make this. I mean, I'm ugly, but that's still a pretty sweet selfie. Like, the lens is a little more telephoto than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. So I'd say like as far as close-up stuff goes, it's pretty rad. This one um, we made earlier. Um, but I think overall it's a pretty fun little camera. It, it's a little papery, this video. The um, bellows are a little sideways on my model. Um, everything's just kind of glued together, but in general it's a pretty fun little camera. I mean, it's nice to have something that's totally manual. You know, it's a neat little camera, and I think Jolly Look definitely found a little bit of a niche with this guy, so hopefully they're able to be uh, successful. So I hope everybody that's um, a Kickstarter backer gets their cameras very soon. We can all start shooting with these. They're very cool. Um, if you have any questions, give me a shout. Uh, but yeah, watch out for the black card coming out that first time. It's tricky. So thanks a lot.